Planet Dolan. From pressing fake buttons to throwing away edible food, we count 15 everyday things you need to stop doing right now. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. Elevators are something a lot of us use every day, but did you know that they lie to you every time? As ridiculous as it sounds, the door closing button, which can be found in almost all elevators, is fake. Apparently they were implemented as ways to let people feel in control over machines, and it continues to work like a placebo. When impatient people press the close button, they feel less irritated, even when it has absolutely no effect. We feel rewarded when the door eventually closes, so we keep pressing it every time. You can now stop pressing it and just wait the two excruciatingly long seconds for it to close itself. Number 14. The good thing about science is that it debunks urban legends about our health. It's commonly believed that when you're getting a cold, you should amp up your vitamin C intake because it'll help you recover faster. Studies have shown that it actually makes little to no difference whatsoever to most people. In fact, vitamin supplements in general may not have any significant benefits at all for an average person. Until science can cure the cold for good, it's best just to stay in bed, get some rest, and let yourself get better over time. Number 13. You might be in the habit of washing every day, but is it really necessary? Experts think you might be washing your hair too much. Why? Because your body is producing oil in your hair called sebum, and shampoo takes the oil away. If your hair isn't oily, your scalp can suffer and your hair can become super brittle. If you sweat a lot, then you might be okay, but apparently most people could do with way less chemicals in their follicles every day. I'm not suggesting you stop washing completely, that would be, you know, real gross. And, and you'd be stanky. Number 12. Self-medication is a dangerous thing, it can prove fatal if you don't know what you're doing. A lot of people take aspirin for treating symptoms like reducing fevers, relieving pain. It's medication you can generally buy over the counter so it's easily available. But there is a real danger of overdosing from this painkiller that most people assume is mild and safe. Taking a lot of aspirin isn't going to have a stronger effect and it will likely cause them serious damage. Instead of prescribing yourself painkillers every time, go talk to a medical professional. They might have a better treatment. Number 11. People who don't fully understand nutrition can sometimes rely on fad diets to lose weight, but they are often not based in science. So many products are marketed as fat-free or low in fat, yet our body definitely needs to eat fat. I'm not saying you should go out and buy the biggest, sweatiest, quadruple pound fat burger you could possibly eat, just be aware that the fat isn't necessarily your enemy. Stop fearing those aggressively competitive nutrition slogans you see in the supermarket unless your diet is impacting your health. Enjoy your chocolate cake as part of a healthy, balanced diet. Number 10. One potentially harmful thing that most people do every day happens without them knowing. A lot of people unwittingly hold themselves back in life because they're terrified of failing. All your heroes more than likely failed miserably at something before they became your heroes. So why can't you let yourself make some mistakes? The human capacity to recover from mistakes is extraordinary when it comes to the crunch. So quit worrying about not succeeding. As they say, the only way you can really fail is by not trying at all. Number 9. If you're one of those people that hits the snooze button 10 different times every morning, guess what? It's you making you more tired. Your body goes through different stages when you sleep, and if you interrupt those stages, you confuse the hell out of your body. You will naturally start lifting out of deep sleep and into a lighter REM sleep around an hour and a half before you wake up. So when you hit your snooze, your body is receiving mixed signals. Experts suggest setting an alarm and sticking to it to avoid being stuck in a sluggish limbo all day. Number 8. Phone addiction is real and it's ruining your brain. This might blow your mind, but did you know you don't need to check your phone every couple of minutes? In fact, people who spend too much time behind their phones or computer screens are more inclined to experience cognitive failures. This includes forgetfulness, being flustered, short attention spans, being oblivious to your surroundings, and all those other things that plague you every day that you have no idea what the cause is of. Our culture is frequently checking phones in a complicated process of anxiety and reward systems. Reclaim your sanity! Stop yourself from being a slave to the smartphone overlords. Number 7. At some point or another, we've all experienced some form of injustice. Blaming people helps us vent our frustrations, but it does very little else. Sure, you've likely got a legitimate reason to blame someone or someone else, but don't get caught up being a resentful victim. Anyone can whinge and point the finger of blame, that's easy. Taking control by actively changing your circumstance is a way bigger challenge. 
People who constantly blame others tend to stew in their own bitterness while the people around them make their own future. Number six. Have you ever been so bored that you look in the fridge for food and check the cupboard and check the fridge again? You know, like every day? Boredom meeting is a sign that your brain is in serious need of stimulation, not necessarily food. There's a common neurobiological condition called anhedonia, which means you struggle to get any pleasure from things that usually are pleasurable. Boredom triggers this and makes you check the fridge just to feel alive. Idle hands are the devil's tools, as they say. So keep his tools out of your fridge or something? Just stop snacking when you're bored. Number five. Although coffee might be the greatest thing in the world, the receptacles we drink them from are literally ruining everything. In Australia alone, it is estimated that 1 billion disposable coffee cups are being thrown in the trash every year. Even though the most coffee shops use paper coffee cups, these cups have unrecyclable plastic around them, meaning they don't biodegrade. A lot of coffee shops are offering discounts to customers that bring a reusable cup. Maybe it's time to stop being lazy and killing the environment for the sake of a temporary caffeine boost. Number four. If you're one of those people who has time to play games on Facebook, have you ever considered not inviting every single person you know to play it? Application game requests on Facebook are just damn annoying. No, I don't want to play Bejeweled with you, Irene. I'm too busy living my life. If anyone even mentions Farmville, I'm going to start swinging fucking fists. Luckily, you can block these invitations, and if you're like me, you can even block the person who sends you those requests. Margaret. Number three. If you've ever been sick and Googled your symptoms, you end up having stage 3 cancer in one week to live, as always. One particular rumor going around the internet was that gluten is this evil ingredient in food. It's real bad for you. People read this on various non-medical websites and came up with the gluten-free diet. But experts believe that if you don't have a gluten intolerance or related disease, cutting gluten out can actually be more harmful to your health. Again, if you suspect you're unwell, listen to a doctor, not a blog written by Margaret. Get back to your farm, Bill Margaret. You dumb bitch. Number two. Speaking of health, if you've ever bought your girlfriend a scented bath bomb or perfume body wash, you should probably know you're giving her thrush. A woman's downstairs is a precarious ecosystem. Many common shower gel, scrubs, lubricants, they often have an unpleasant effect on it. The chemicals they contain can upset the pH levels of a vagina, resulting in a painful and unpleasant bout of thrush. Even though thrush is easily treated, you can prevent it by just not doing that. Number one. Discounted groceries are not for everyone, that's maybe because not everyone understands expiry dates properly. When food manufacturers put expiry dates on their food, they're telling you that the product will no longer be fit for consumption after that date. However, if the label says best before, you can still enjoy the food after the date, but the product might have less texture of flavor. Sounds simple, but a lot of global food wastage is caused by incorrectly assuming, you know, oh no, after best before, it's gone bad. No, easy intuition. It's covered in mold, don't eat it. So guys, what do you think that everyone needs to stop doing right away? Let us know in the comment section down below. We'll pin our favorite to the top. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one.